And tonight at 11 o'clock, a six-hour standoff and shootout over in Randolph County. In fact, people nearby were told to shelter in place. Police lifted that order around 9 o'clock. And that's when police entered the home and found the suspect. John Restar was shot. All of this unfolding in Lynn, Indiana, in Randolph County. Three officers were hit by shrapnel in that initial gunfire. All of them were told are expected to be okay. That is the good news there. Tonight at 11 o'clock, our own Alan Carter is live from Lynn with how the dangerous situation finally unfolded. Alan? Well, guys, nearly half a dozen, or rather oh, more than half a dozen law enforcement agencies responded to the standoff here that lasted nearly six hours and ended with three officers and that suspect injured. Say that anything in law enforcement is routine. Certainly not this call that first came in as a domestic dispute, but quickly escalated. Uh, when they arrived in the 800 block of West Church Street, they were met with gunfire by an individual from inside the residence. Three officers were hit by flying debris. We're told their injuries are non-life threatening. The town of Lynn shut down as dozens of shots continued to go off. Bart Teeter took this video and lives just a few blocks from where the standoff was taking place. Very rapid, um, different types of weapons, uh, shotguns. Um, it sounded like uh, it's probably some semi-auto rifles. With a wife and two kids at home, the threat became apparent. When I got too close and those shots started happening, it finally went off in my head like, whoa, man, you better get home, you know. Um, yeah, I was scared. SWAT teams from multiple surrounding agencies responded, finally entering the home around 8, finding the suspect shot and unconscious, but an abundance of caution, especially after how this began. Do you have an individual that's, uh, that's brazen enough to, to fire at law enforcement officers responding to a call for service? Uh, the concern is that he's willing to potentially engage anybody else that, that may... Uh, they may come into contact with him. So when I hear that one of them's down, it um, it makes me sad because if you knew the people of this town, how strong they are, how much they respect the police force, you wouldn't think it would happen here. And we're told again that suspect, 44 years old, uh, we don't know exactly what his condition is. He was taken to the hospital, but again, his condition has not been released. We do not know if he was, that gunshot was self-inflicted or if he was injured by return of fire from the officers here. But we do know that officers will be here on the scene continuing this investigation throughout the night. Reporting live in Randolph County, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, Alan, thanks.